Alan Daniel, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We here at the Immuno Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, uh, guidance, uh, and advice. And I want to tell a couple of very quick stories with respect to Rabbi Zev Wolf of Zbaraj. This was the youngest uh, son of um, uh, Rabbi Yechel Machal the Magadim of Zlotchov. And in his youth was a very wild and strong-willed boy, but eventually um, uh, he grew up to be a, a very uh, peace-loving and kind-hearted uh, man who saw the good in everything and encouraged others to be good. Uh, Rabbi Zeb Wolf would go so far whenever he rode in a carriage to um, tell the carriage driver not to use a whip uh, on the horse and not even to yell or speak harshly at the horse. He says, you don't have to yell. You don't have to whip. You just have to know how to talk and everything will be fine. And um, there was once a, a time when two men were quarreling rather heatedly and uh, Rabbi Zev Wolf was asked to, to intervene. And the guy who asked him to intervene kind of hinted that he should be um, going against one of, the, uh, one of the two men who was supposedly not all that righteous. Uh, Rabbi Zev Wolf uh, of, uh, um, of uh, Zbaraj would have none of it. He says, listen, I've been listening to these two men, and one does not seem any better or worse than the other. I view them as both uh, righteous, and who am I to come between two uh, righteous men? Um, very few of us are going to uh, uh, reach that level um, of tranquility and peace. And there's a story about his father, um, the Magda Zlotrov, and how did this wild kid all suddenly become so peaceful? And um, Magda Zlotrov uh, tried very hard with the youngest of five sons, uh, Zev Wolf. And he was having a hard time. And it was about the time of, uh, of young Zev Wolf's uh, bar mitzvah. So the Magda Zlotrov had a very interesting request. The sofer who was uh, who was uh, making the the, the, the the man who was making the tefillin and the sofer who was writing the uh, um, the verses that go in. He says, "Listen, uh, before you put the verses in, I, I need to I need to borrow these tefillin. I need to use these tefillin." And um, he held them in his hands and looked at them and and thought about his son and his hopes and prayers for young Zev Wolf and the. Magda Zlotchev started crying, crying on behalf of his son, his hopes, his, his, his wishes for his son. And his tears fell into the empty boxes of the, of the tefillin. He took a handkerchief, he dried them, and then gave them to the sofa, to the scribe, and put, who put the verses in the head and the, the boxes for the arm. It is said that once uh, the Magda Zlotchev's son, Zev Wolf, put on his tefillin in preparation for his bar mitzvah, from that moment on, a new, for the first time, he grew tranquil. A calmness came over him, and he was filled with love, not just for his father, but for all of mankind, for all people. And he, uh, um, this love and kindness was a hallmark of uh, Rabbi Zev Wolf of Zbaraj. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch, please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.